119 machine. You can see Tim earning the badger. Who needs more power on the Mini Twin? I do. We felt he let himself down. He let me down. He just let a lot of people down. We were disappointed. It was a disgrace. Absolute disgrace. I'm surprised he's been allowed back, to be honest. He can see uh, Raura in all its glory with the Cumbrian hills. We're practically in the Lake District here. And I just climbed up to this viewing point, which um, is a great place to watch races from. You can see the entire track. And uh, we're on the, here on one of these rare days where the sun is shining. Um, hopefully it'll stay that way. Uh, should be a good day's racing at Raura. Fingers crossed, make a shut out. I'm just going to do a bit of a track walk and uh, just show you the, the new grid layout. So, uh, usually we have uh, two bikes side by side on the starts. So, yeah, you see there, seven and eight, and five and six, but they decided to put us three across the track. So, it means there's three bikes going into a very, fairly tight and soon uh, first corner. Uh, but uh, we've been asked to put our wheels actually on the dots. so. We're separated onto the dots there, rather than having the whole of the, the width of the box there. Uh, so I'm just going to do a bit of a track walk and just show you some of the beautiful sights of uh, Raura here in Cumbria, uh, Cumbria Karting Centre. So turn one here uh, is actually quite a fairly steep hill. You don't realise this on the bike, and but um, you only see it when you're walking. I see there's. Sarah Harris doing the kids track walk. Morning. Uh, so I'm usually on uh, the gearing I've got. I'm going down from fifth into fourth just as a tip round here. Uh, just getting as close as I can to this curb and then pulling it left for the next one. Uh, so here's exit of the, the turn one chicane area. Um, you should just just try not to go onto the curb here and then pushing it wide over to the left to the next curbing and then uh, over into fifth and then it's down into um, tight hairpin left at the bottom yeah, so here's the first hairpin left I've uh, just been listening to Sarah Harris talking to the kids about uh, how it should be taken and telling them about uh, dragging their back brake into the corner, something that I never do. Maybe I should try using the back brakes sometimes. But um, yeah, harden the brakes. I'm actually going down second gear here. I think if, uh, if I was a better rider, I'd be able to do it in third, but I find I'm bogging too much if I do that. Um, and uh, yes, yeah, Sarah Harris just explaining how that there's so much exit uh, space here and to make to use all of the track and to go out to the curbs in the white line and then there's another straight up to another hairpin right at the end uh, here's the second hairpin you can see there's quite a few people that come off here you can see uh, trails there where there's oil being covered but I usually try and keep it quite tight into the into the curb here and then run out to that strip curb over there I'm gonna just hang back and listen to what Sarah Harris about says about this I'm getting some good tips <laughs> here's the longest straight uh, I'm actually, uh, the way I've got it geared, I'm only using 5th gear, not up to 6th here, but uh, chatting to the other lads, I think um, they're saying the same, you know, if, if it works, it doesn't matter if you're topping out in 5th or in 6th, uh, so I'm going to leave the gearing as it is. Um, yeah, but I'm, at the end of this one, I'm going down two gears from 5th to 3rd, uh, seems like the fast lads are going to 4th, but again, I just can't carry the corner speed to be able to pull it out in uh, in fourth gear. Uh, this uh, right hand corner at the end of the straights, um, there's a bit of temptation to turn in too early 
so it's a sort of double apex here so uh, you can see that the lines and the reflection here shows that uh, it's better to hang out a little bit wider to um, give you a better entry to the second part of the corner um, and not go too wide on the exit so coming up to about here and then going straight that way so again you don't quite realize the elevation changes on tracks until you walk them um, so this section is, does run downhill quite quite a bit into this right hander uh, I'm usually coming down here in fifth and uh, just breaking down into fourth for the net for the right hander um, yeah you do get a good run down the hill <laughs> left here <clears throat> I'm usually down to third and then uh, you need to get turned quite quickly so to avoid running onto the rumble strip on the right hand side exit um, I actually crashed here uh, about a year ago at the 24 hour I just turned it too tight and lost the front here um, and then it's um, straight run into the final corner into the start finish straight again <laughs> So final corner, um, I'm usually sort of tipping it in around here, <clears throat> I've been taking this in third gear and just knocking it down to third here, um, I think really I just need to grow a pair, leave it in fourth, I've tried both ways, I need to I think leave it in fourth and try and carry some more speed, able me to start, get on the gas as early as possible to make this sort of double apex right hander into one corner. Uh, trying to stay off the white lines I think I'm usually running over to the left hand side of the track here but not going as far as the curbs uh, and in race one that's where I managed to pass Harrison O'Keefe as he overcooked it a bit into the corner and ended up um, going onto the uh, the curbs I managed to pass him just over there into the first corner but then he came back at me and that's Pretty much a lap of uh, Rara Kart Centre, Cumbria Kart Racing Club. Greetings, Mega Shake Diaries, 27th of July 24. We're at um, Fab Double Header Weekend at beautiful Rara. It's in the uh, quarry here in the Lake District. Usually a bit dodgy for weather here. It absolutely hammered it down last night and this morning. So we had a damp, damp first qualifying. Um, so it was only about three of us went out in that. But then with the sun has come out, it's glorious. And we've, I've just gone and done uh, the second qualifying. So that's gonna be the qualifying race positions for the whole weekend. So we've got uh, one more ra one race today. And uh, I'll put them on the, put them on the screen, but um, I was chasing down Harrison O'Keefe because he's usually the quicker of the two. I thought if I see if I can leave a gap and catch him up, I should be quicker, which I was. But it was his brother Ben who's uh, he's got a 58.7 and I'm on a 59.3, so that puts me fifth out of seven in standard class. Uh, so I'll um, put the camera on the bike for the for the first race. Uh, catch up with you later. Make shut out.
to race two. Not a great performance from me. Uh, behind both of the old keeps, managed to stick with Harrison for a while, and then I had a massive front end slide at uh, turn two. Um, I should have it on camera, so I'll be able to sh show you it. But uh, yeah, I nearly lost the front, managed to save it, and then just sort of run onto the grass until I could get back on the power. So I was way, way back, and then I got overtaken by someone who would start at the back of the grid. So uh, not great performance, but good fun. Not as good as race one though. team five round four um still not great i've just got slower and slower I'm, i've nearly crashed on the outlap um and just losing the front and i think it's the tire now i've had people look at it and think you know it didn't look too bad to me but um i've gone from doing 59 seconds to 101 seconds um but uh, yeah i had a good sort of battle with gary o'keefe was on my tail so i was just trying to keep keep it up uh, but um scrounging around to see if anyone's got a front tire but there's Lots of people got them, but not with them. And they've got people have got like 15 sets at home, but not here. But, uh, we'll see how it goes tomorrow. See if I can get a tire. Anyway, that's it for round four. Diary 29th of July. So this is round five of uh, Fab at Raura. Um, so after yes, uh, yesterday's proceedings, I think I uh, did an update and said that I, I was losing the front everywhere. I'm not. I'm struggling with um, the front tire. I've tried to scrabble around trying to get another one. Uh, nobody has one here. Um, so I'm not sure what to do. I thought I just need to just need to go out and do what I can do. But uh, chatting with uh, Ian Jackson last night, and he said, "Oh, shall we do swapsies?" Because he likes riding my bike. So um, first race, I'm going to uh, go out on his uh, Suzuki number 27. So um, he's going to ride mine. I'll stick the camera on there, and uh, we'll see what happens. So I round up for that race. Um, so with me on Ian Jackson's Suzuki, starting second on the grid on a bike I'd never ridden before uh, nearly flipped it on the line to the wheelie <laughs> went back to fourth as I was expecting to but um, yeah I didn't go really any quicker on his bike than I did on mine but that's fair considering I never really ridden it before but he rode mine and uh, he said it was horrible uh, and the front end was very really twitchy so he confirmed what I was thinking um, I'm going to make some adjustments to the suspension to see if I can make it a little more stable but I think it's the tyre that's gone so I'll go out and see what I can do and hopefully not crash. I'll see you after race two. After race two of the um, round, race two round five motor team uh, went out of the bike. I dropped the uh, forks a little bit to make it a little more stable. It wasn't quite as twitchy, uh, but I wasn't able to get under one minute, and I sort of finished on my own, just in front of Gary O'Keefe, who's uh, 
shown shown some race form this weekend. Um, but uh, yeah, interestingly, um, international star jumped onto uh, the bike I was on in the last race on the Suzuki. So uh, Sullivan Mouse he uh, went and took a win on uh, Ian Jackson's bike. So that's the uh, the beauty of my moto team, where just anyone can ride any bike. Um, anyway, so there's one more race to go, uh, but I think after this meeting I'm probably going to be putting my shock settings, uh, the ride height, back to as it was because um, it just feels far too twitchy at the height that it is. Anyway, Mega Shed out for now. Mega Shed Diary, 31st of July, 24. Epilogue to the round five at Raura. Uh, I went and got some tyres couple of days late but on the way back I went to uh, one of the Moto3 teams that I'd uh, spoken to the guy at Raura and he said he had stacks of them so I've got I've got more tyres than Dunlop now so I uh, just got to the mega, mega shed um, so I think uh, yeah the problem I was having is probably just the tyre I just looked at how many races I'd done on it and stuff and then I actually measured the tread so this is what I'm going to put on. Uh, this is a soft PMT slick or PMTS that I'd got for the 24 hours, and I think I just used it for the 24 hours and then I took it off again. But it's still got, I measured it, it's still got 3.5 millimeters, so it's barely done. And one of the best scrubs that I picked up. <coughs> so I measured them all on the, the dot on the right hand side of the tyre, and that's 2.9. Uh, and I measured what's on the rear is not too bad 2.7 but the front uh, 1.6 um, so that's consistent with the wear but um, and obviously you'll have done quite a few heat cycles as well but um, yeah I was definitely having issues with um, the front uh, the final race I uh, was pretty much like um, race two I I managed to think I managed to get a one minute dead under 101 but I was yeah, nowhere near what, what I was doing on the Saturday in the 59s um, so fingers crossed um, I'll just uh, ch change a tyre and I'll uh, get, get better unfortunately not going to the next round at Clay Pigeon we're going to be on holiday uh, but I am this weekend going to do uh, mini twins at Emra um, and the weather's looking good, so I should be at Mallory Park and hopefully do a bit of a vlog from that too. So that, that's all. I'll um, put some of the results up and some clips from the final race. Um, and that's it. Mega shed out.